Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a great Sunday morning. Fresh air. It's just great to be alive, to see another day. Blessings be safe to the people down on the coast. Got to deal with Ida. Prayers and blessings to you. Now, let's get into this review. Now, I got to do something a little bit different. I guess I got to do eight minutes worth of video. This might be a double upload day. But shout out to all of the people that came through yesterday for the Who Has the Heat battle. Black looking ass versus sneaker divas. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on the Who Has the Heat channel. I think I simulcast. I have it here somewhere on the channel as well. As I also go check out the home team. 313 Retro Queen, McFly KOL, PM Kicks, and don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe to me. I'm going to do a little small giveaway at 7,500, but it's, it's kind of, YouTube is starting to act like the military. Give you 100 and take back 99. I gain some, I lose some, so hey, it is what it is. We get there when we get there. Some other things, um, this shoe wasn't a highly sought out shoe. Maybe it was, but it was limited. So shout out to Champs. I kept calling. It's like, yep, come down and get it. And I was on it. Some other shoes that's coming out this week. The Jordan 6 Bordeaux. Nah, I don't have to have that. But I am going after the Shimmer joint. Some people hate it or love it. Some people don't like, you know, what's going on with it. Some people saying it's the poor person's alternative to the off-white. They are two different shoes, but I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole nother rant once I get the shoe. Now, let's jump into this. As you can see, you already know what time it is. As you can see the box, it's a Jordan 12 box. This is a PP personal pair, Air Jordan 12 retro, suggested retail price, 190 them things, colorway black, black, bright crimson. As you can see, you got the QR code and all of that. I got the digital receipt. And I got these for $119. How did I do it? Military, 15% off. Flex card, I mean a flex gift card, $50 off. So them flex points do come in handy, people. You can stack them up as much as you like. So make sure you take advantage of those flex points if for nothing else. Also, make sure you sign, you know, you fill out those receipts for feedback because they send you back a $10 coupon. So anytime you can save a buck, people, I would highly recommend it. Those feedback uh, surveys only take about a good minute or two of your time. Now, if you look up here, I don't see a stamp or ramp. I see this brown paper and look at it. This shoe was different. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but in hand, it's a whole nother animal in hand. Let me tell you. The Jordan 12 is one of the better silhouettes. It's a Tinker Hatfield shoe, as you can see. Um, this shoe is based off, you know, a, a woman's designer shoe and the Japanese flag, if you didn't know that. And this shoe actually has Zoom Air in it. So these are one of the few shoes I think you still can wear and ball in it, and you will be okay. Now, this utility shoe comes along the line of one of a couple of my favorite 12s. Uh, you got the neoprene, which is a very, very uh, dope shoe. You also have the wool. I had that one before, but it's too hot in Hawaii to have the wool. And then you also have the all black winterized. So, um, yeah, that those are along the lines of the utility. And like I said, I like the concept of this shoe. So let's get into it, all right? So as you can see, you kind of got like this recrafted type material as they do like on some of the other shoes, like people don't um, really care for, but I think they're pretty dope. So you can see kind of got that recraft granite type material. Then underneath, you see you just like on the 11s, it got that full carbon fiber underneath. You got herringbone traction here, and you got your jump man and your 23, like all, um, of the previous you know 12s before but i think i really like this granite kind of recraft made underneath this is what really draws me to the shoe now i thought this part or the reptilian part was um like kind of like that funny material but this is actually suede or new book type material you got pretty good leather here on the toe box you got your rope laces 
you got your two three as you always do on the tone but this is pretty interesting as you can see kind of got like an outline like the infrared with the black all the way up on the eyeless or agless you see you got the mini jump man with the chrome or silver type um you know eyeless holder but i will say you can see they they did get real sloppy on this shoe joint man look at that look at all them glue stains but you know for 119 what you gonna do what you gonna complain you got a hit so what they look like infrared you got the embossed jump man but look you see that wrinkle stankle and that's the part where you see where the inspiration came from the japanese flag right then on the back as always you have the 23 i always think they screwed this up i don't know why look at it it's kind of like cockeyed right the 23 on the back um then you have the tab quality inspired by the greatest player ever this one actually pretty good even some most of the time they screw this up and it's always crooked but oh, not too bad on him and as you can see coming around more glue stains so yeah jordan brand yeah i really rushed this one but you don't see um jump man on this part and pretty clean on the cuts on the part of the reptile star side right so not too bad not too bad then you come on in the inside the production date is 3321 to 41621 so you got it about roughly a month so i guess that's why it's playing the limited availability and the sloppy quality control on these joints and let's see let's take out the shoe tree it's like we always like to do and you can see you got 10 to 10 and a half so very very interesting and on the insole you have an infrared with the black jump man and that's pretty much it on this shoe i mean let's check out the second one let's take a look at it but 12s are one of my favorite silhouettes though so I ain't mad at it. Like I said, I wish the QC would be a little bit better, but you can clearly see the glue issues on here. And on this one, you can see it as well. Once you get close, look, look at the sloppiness. Yeah, they was, yeah. I can see why some people probably would not get this shoe if you had it. But I mean, it's going to be fire on foot, especially if you get some infrared laces and swap it out. Shout out to my guy, Jay the Sneaker guy. He always swapping it out. So it definitely would be dope like that. But I mean, other than that, I think it's a pretty decent shoe. It's kind of like you can see actually with a wrinkle stankle kind of kind of changes. It kind of stopped like right in here. So yeah, I see what they tried to do. But nonetheless, $190 shoe, $119. What can you complain about? So on a little lit meter, out of five, I don't go out of 10, I give it about a 4.6 out of 10. 4.6 out of 10, I gotta deduct for $190. Well, I got it for 119, but that's here, no here, no there. Pretty decent concept. It's an all black shoe. If you got the other ones, you probably wouldn't need it. And definitely not happy about the sloppiness of the shoe. And I don't think this shoe was readily available as most people thought so if they do have you know they do have a restart i will be very very surprised so other than that leave a comment suggestion below let me know was this something on your radar because it definitely wasn't on my radar but it grew on me hey and the price was right i jumped on it so thanks again thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff e-money shoes i'm out peace